For most children, being born in Nepal means starting the fight for survival. Half the children under five are malnourished. Most of the girls never finish primary school, and thousands are sold into indentured servitude. In 1990, Olga Murray made a promise to do something about this. And for the last two decades, that's exactly what she's been doing. A lot of groups come in here and they want to own an issue and hold it close to their heart and say, only I need to work on it. The NYF doesn't do that. They say, here's an issue, it's very important, and the government has to take it over. And when it leaves the NRHs, it'll still be functioning. The kind of honesty, accountability, and openness that you know she has been able to maintain throughout the years is not easy in a place like Nepal. And that has uh, set a standard for the rest of uh, people who want to help children in Nepal. I get a lot more than I give here. When I see what happens to them over the years, it's so fulfilling. It makes me want to get out of bed in the morning and start all over again because money goes so far here. Uh, you know, when I think what it costs to go to dinner in San Francisco or, or buy a good dress, I know I can save a child's life for that amount of money here.